Alrighty, so uh, Vlad has work today and Vlad works nights, so that means that Vlad has to sleep all day or his body will give up on him and all of the bread will be burnt. Which doesn't sound like a tragedy to me, but apparently it's a tragedy. Um, so, Alice and I are driving to BG a little bit early to hang out with our good friend Chris, notable from being a Velcro warrior in some of my main channel's videos, and they loaned me a Jeep. Now, I've never like driven this Jeep before with the exception of like on ice in Canada, so this should be a pretty smooth ride because it's like four-wheel drive, and we're driving on surface street, so that's gonna be sweet. But now we get to experience a fun mystery. Alice has found this CD. I almost don't even want to read it because I just no, want to know, but it's like, a mixtape, I guess, and that's what we're listening to on the road to BG. Oh no. Okay, so for our pre HVZ day, you'll notice that I'm wearing eyes and ears. I wonder why that is. Well, uh, we came over to Chris's house, and Chris is fortunate enough to have that much land and a backstop, which means uh, today just became a range day. Now, our lovely Canadian friend has never played with firearms before, so this is going to be very entertaining. I think we started with the, the 12 gauge. What do you think, Chris? Uh, might be a bit rough. Might be? Alright. So Chris actually has a gorgeous Beretta 12 gauge and, um, and plenty of other toys because Ohio is a lot like the South. And that, well, we're not going to get political, but Ohio is a lot like the South. Anyway, I think he's loading up some AR-15 magazines. Uh, my shield, actually. Okay, and I just finished loading up this. This is actually something that I've wanted to shoot for a while ever since I saw it. This is a Beretta Neos, which is a fun little plinking 22 caliber that happens to just look like a sci-fi pistol. It's really, really, really cool looking. The lines on it are both aggressive and subtle, and the forward grip is like, I could, I could do a nerf review on it, but I won't. I won't bore you guys with that, but I am very excited to plink with it. Tell me when I get this on film. Yeah, it's we're already there. Oh, okay. Right, and I can just go again? Yeah, yeah you have 10 similar. shots. You have 10. It shoots as fast as you pull the trigger. Hey, there Ooh. you go. The ting means you're doing it. Yeah, I can see the little thing moving. Ow! You alright? Yeah, something got me in the face. That's brass. Yeah. Hey, got it. All right, so after all the shooting, we went out, we grabbed some wings and some other things, and we met Chris's girlfriend. He had to blow her up for us first, but she's actually pretty sweet. I'm kidding, she's, she's quite lovely. We're sad that she can't play uh, humans versus zombies with us tomorrow, because apparently she is very good. I'm not sure if that's biased because Chris himself is very good, and she just had an awesome wingman while she was learning to play, but either way, we're gonna head back. I think we've gotta hit up an Army Navy surplus because apparently I need black BDUs for Canada land. Canada! Canada! How do you say Canada in Canada? Canada. It's, Canada. it's not exciting at all. No, it's not. I like Canada more. Hey, you know why they uh, spell it the way that they do, right? No. Because uh, they were trying to figure out how to spell their country and they were like, oh, you know, like C-A, N-A, D-A. And that's what they came up with. I'm not funny, guys. I'm sorry. There are no words. <laughs> but you just said words. There were letters, really, but... This Army-Navy store is huge and a lot of fun. They definitely have the BDUs we're looking for, but we're looking at other stuff, too. Because reasons. <laughs> 